small space balcony garden from outside basically three uh, windows with box grills on the outside where I have placed my grow bags and by the time it is time to sow seeds for the greens and the salads my window grills are covered with all the summer crops like peppers, tomatoes, uh, the basil and the flowers so there is hardly any space left to sow the greens so I was toying around with the idea of using this one particular wall that I get in window number three uh, to use it as a space for a vertical gardening idea of the three windows this is the only one that has a wall and since it is a building wall I cannot make holes in it to fix anything so it needed to be something that I could remove when I didn't want it now I thought of other ideas of utilizing my grill for vertical gardening and I had put in these brackets where I could put in containers on the inside but the problem was on doing this the containers were shading out the plants that were growing in the grow bags so I had to dispose of the idea in this particular window and my husband came across this vertical shoe organizer when he visited IKEA last year and he got it back for me as a surprise hoping that I will be able to use it for my vertical gardening space empty shoe organizer in the spot that I wanted to place it in because if I filled it up it would be too heavy for me to move into the window and then manipulate it in the spot that I needed it to be in. I used an old curtain rod and placed it across the grills so that I was able to suspend or hang the shoe organizer in the spot that I needed it to be in and you can see 12 pockets but there is another row of pockets that is folded up and secured by velcro behind 16 pockets in all but if I had opened the lowermost one I wouldn't have uh, it wouldn't get space underneath for this vertical growing system I needed the potting mix to be light and hence I used my usual potting mix of equal parts of compost, vermicompost, coconut coir and vermiculite. It is not a good idea to use red soil or clay soil or any local soil because it would be very very heavy and the fabric would probably tear and it would also stain the fabric immediately. I needed to fill up this yellow container three times with potting mix to fill up each pocket. This is the total amount of potting mix that went into each pocket. In the first and the second rows, I put in seeds of lettuce and arugula. And in the third row, I transplanted seedlings of arugula that I already had from my living room. I needed to secure the shoe organizer with a clothesline clip because it would keep turning away from the sun and I needed it to look straight so that all the pockets would get enough sun. Now here is the progress of the seedlings as on 23rd of November. Lettuce doesn't do that well in our weather and a regular really thrives in our weather. It is one of my favorite greens and this is going to be my green of choice every year. The idea is to grow what one likes to eat. 
So here are the greens and whenever I'm ready for a meal, I can just grab some of the leaves from here. The ones on the top have yet to mature. That's a lettuce, Cimarron lettuce. And these are my favorite arugula. So you can just break off the biggest leaves like this. For your meal or to add to a sandwich fresh organic just harvested doesn't get any better than this December 2016 footage you can see how big the leaves have become as compared to when I had started them in smaller containers in those you can get the micro greens but if you want the bigger leaves then you have to put in fewer plants and the second level is the one that I started from seed so a bit smaller and on top is the Cimarron lettuce you can see in the last pocket there's hardly any growth because this pocket does not get any sun and this is the reason I have chosen to hang my wooden beehive over here It's completely protected from the sun at this spot. Now for a setup like this, obviously I can't bottom water. So what I do is, I direct the nozzle towards the back of each pouch and then the water comes ahead. So I am not uh, really wetting the leaves here. I put the water behind on the fabric and then it comes ahead. So when I started off, the potting mix was almost till the top and it has kept settling down which enables me to add more compost from the top whenever required you can see that there is enough place here to add more compost so this is one option you can mix in the neem pellets or neem flakes with the compost you could even add manure and then another option that I have used for this vertical planter so that it gives me the most are slow release organic pellets these slow release pellets are a new product by Ratanshi and I was really happy to see this now it has an NPK of 12 3 and 5 Nitrogen being 12%, this is a perfect slow-release organic fertilizer for greens.
this vertical gardening idea that I have utilized in my small space garden this season to increase my growing space and until next time happy gardening everyone